Okay, assalamualaikum and good morning to my dear main. So my name is Luqman Hakim Yad Balatif. So today I'm going to talk about chapter 3 for the pre-exercise evaluation. So under the pre-exercise evaluation, we have three components which is medical history, physical examination and lab test. So these three components are three major steps before we uh, proceed to the exercise for uh, the classification of the patients. So firstly, uh, we are going to talk about the medical history. So firstly, first of all, before we uh, assigning any exercises towards the patient, we have to firstly uh, we have to identify the history of the symptoms which is the discomfort, the dizziness, short of breath, uh, tightness of the cardiovascular. Uh, second, we have to uh, identify whether the patient uh, has recent illness or orthopedic problem with, which is musculoskeletal disease and thirdly we have to identify the exercise history of the patient whether they had uh, undergo other exercise or they had do other exercise um, before we had uh, before we had assigned the exercise to the patient and lastly, we uh, had to identify whether uh, the patient had uh, inherited other uh, disease from uh, their family. Okay, for the second component of the pre-evaluation exercise evaluation, uh, we are going to check on the physical examination. Okay, firstly, first. Uh, diagnosis that we have to check on is BMI, body mass index. So we have to check on for the uh, height, for the weight uh, that can uh, affect uh, the patients uh, whether they had disease, uh, high risk or moderate, uh, moderate risk or none of the risk. Okay, second, we are going to check on the apical pass rate and rhythm. So for the apical pass rate and rhythm, uh, we can use the stethoscope for the accurate uh, accurate result, which is 60 to 100 beats per minute. Okay, for the apical pass rate, we can check on the PMI point of maximum impulse okay the uh, PMI is the location of cardiac impulse that can, that can be palpated on the chest wall so uh, for the PMI I will show you a figure of this for, for figure of chest apical pulse brachial apical pulse radial apical pulse and carotid pressure so this for uh, this for PMI point of maximum impulse is the uh, location that we can check or that can we that can that we can palpate uh, to check for our impulse or our beat ok lastly uh, for the physical examination we can uh, check on the resting blood pressure uh, so we have three uh, three situation that we can check on uh, whether the patient are seated supine and standing okay for the third one is we gonna do a lab test for pre-evaluation test Okay, so firstly we classify the person into uh, healthy which is low risk people with without disease ok 
Okay, second one is people with high risk but without no risk, that is moderate risk. And the third one is patients with known or suspected cardiovascular disease, which is people with high risk. Okay, so firstly we're gonna talk about the moderate risk, people with high risk or without known risk, eh, without known disease, I'm sorry, there's a typo there. Okay, so uh, this is three of the lab tests that we can perform for the patient with moderate risk, which is fasting serum total cholesterol. We check for the cholesterol of the patients. So for the cholesterol, we're gonna check of for the low density lipoprotein, which is bad cholesterol high density lipoprotein which is good cholesterol and triglyceride the second for the fasting plasma glucose is we check for the glucose level or whether the person has diabetic and for the third one is thyroid function dyslipidemia ok dyslipidemia uh, from my uh, from my understanding is abnormal lip amount of lipid whether the lipid is high or low level this lipidemia will cause arteriosclerosis with, uh, which is arteriosclerosis is, is a plaque or a, a fat composition that will build up and stay in our blood flow or our uh, blood blood vessel so what is uh, the atherosclerosis gonna do is the fatty or the uh, fat composite uh, deposits will stay in our blood flow that we soon will uh, block the blood flow into our heart so that's why it, there is uh, many people with cardiovascular disease that is caused or that is affected by the uh, high cholesterol or fat level uh, okay uh, we move on with the patients with known or suspected cardiovascular disease which is high risk so for the laboratory test we can conduct a halter monitoring coronary angiography and uh, echocardiography test which is ECG ok later uh, for the last slide I will uh, I will uh, insert the slide of this test Okay, uh, so for lastly, uh, okay, I will define the terminology of uh, the heart murmurs, clicks. Okay, for this two, okay, heart murmurs is sound of during heartbeat cycle, like whooshing or swishing. So for the normal heartbeat, uh, uh, you can uh, hurt or you can uh, borrow somebody's chest you can put your ears toward the heart and you can listen to the heartbeat which is tuk 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 ok that is the normal heartbeat ok for the murmurs uh, you can slightly listen of different heartbeat which is Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the exactly like what I listen, but that is uh, the example of the heart murmurs. Okay, clicks is high pitch sound that occur at the moment of maximal opening aortic of pulmonary veins. Okay, so I think that's all for my explanation of the. Uh, for the chapter 3 which is pre-evaluation and the other 3 
to add the three components of the pre evaluation before we assign or we uh, consist of the exercise program for, for the patient so i think that's all for for me thank you